You want to log me out? Bull crap. Uh, what is my password? All right. I would really be lost without fingerprints. Man, I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have fingerprints. Oh, that's it. I got it. <laughs> I can stick the gears. Okay. Hey man, like, I know how to do that. I just don't expect them to do it every time. Yo, Finn. Not only did I lie about joining the club, but I'm also the guy trying to stop you. Okay, we can work on the delivery. Johnny Armored Silo looks promising. Ain't nobody down here. But as soon as I hop down there, I'm gonna get beat up by something. <clears throat> okay, you ready? I won't play. No, nah, she's just gonna play play the voicemail. Really no, like hold on. Right now. I I'm not playing anything yet. Going full super villain layer here. Are you seeing this giant armor container? <laughs> I always blow gentle, baby. <laughs> you think the new forms in there? I got a hunch, yeah. Shut up. Has got cables running away from it. No wonder. Then why would you tell me that? All right, go ahead. Play, play the, uh, play, play the who's it? Drywall's flat. <sighs> drywall. I'm going to play you a voicemail. Ooh, that is. Eeky. That we received hours after I got off the phone been making new with Representative Bobert. Guess she told her to the to keep after she posted her video. thing is is that she gets those messages all the time mm -hmm. and at some point there's gonna be some idiot that actually tries to go through with it and you can't tell me that that's not probable in this country no 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 I'm not I'm not I, I died to get yeah. no 100% I, I, I agree that it's Probable. Uh, it's possible. I don't know if it's probable that somebody would definitely be. I, why are people crazy? Yeah, she said she gets hundreds of those messages. And um, after this whole situation with Lauren Bobert, it's ramped up even more. Uh, so I guess you don't you don't know the situation. Like no, no. Lauren Bobert then. No, I'm so dumb, she's one of those uh, QAnon people. Oh. Um, I sent I sent you the video of her mom and the other lady talking about brown people. Oh no, I watched that. That yeah, was hilarious. That was her. That was her oh, mom. I mean, no, that wasn't funny. Ooh. Um, you couldn't back me up on that at all? Thank you. So... Hold, hold that thought. <laughs> oh, they left me in the fucking wind with my ass out. Golly. I mean, seriously, you heard me say I thought it was funny. Exploded the bridge. Shit. Leonard Skinner isn't rock and roll, it's just rock. <laughs> it pissed me. 
It didn't make me mad necessarily, <laughs> but it is. They don't what it speak is. no English. <laughs> it's something y'all have in common. So there be no casualties. <laughs> I mean, the brown oh people. Gosh. Yeah, the brown people. Okay. I want to look good. Well, I didn't understand any of what you were talking about. Like when I understood what yeah, you were saying, so... but I didn't under, but I didn't understand the whole thing about um. I didn't understand the thing about because she was talking about black women going to Walmart wearing heels and shit. Like that's what she was talking about. But I don't understand. She's like, I want to look sexy when I go to Walmart. Well then, bitch, do. Well, that's she's she's gonna struggle no matter what. But uh. Hey, everybody anyway. struggle is a little different. Let's get that new form out of here. That's 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 who Lauren Boebert was raised by. So you know, nature, nurture, all that. So basically at an event like a week ago, two weeks ago, I don't know. Lauren Boebert was uh stumping and she was telling this story about how she got into an elevator in the uh, in the Capitol building. She's going back to her office, and she was like, she gets into the elevator as it's closing, and she looks out of the elevator and she sees somebody running towards the elevator, trying to get in. They're like, hold the elevator, and she's standing there, and she she's like, oh, sorry, can't open it, <laughs> can't get to the elevator. Um, and she's in there with her staffer, and she says she turns to her left, and she sees Ilhan o Omar standing in the corner. And she says she looks at her, she looks, she sees she doesn't have a backpack, so and then she looks at her and says, guess the Jihad squad decided to show up for work today. And the crowd goes crazy. So after this video of her telling this story gets out, Elon Omar tweets that like that literally never happened. Nothing I'm like sorry. that has ever happened. How did it not happen? Because it didn't happen because it was a lie. Because she was telling the story just to make herself look like the big person, like she's not afraid to say these racist <laughs> things okay. to this person, to okay, her so face. Here's the, here's the thing. As far as I was concerned, I was thinking to myself, like, why would she lie and say she said that? That's the dumbest thing you could ever do. That's just fucking stupid. Why would you lie and say... Oh yeah, I totally called her the N word. <laughs> no big deal. It's whatever. <laughs> My sister farts a shit ton. Yeah, that's to to brag, to say that you did it when you are around like minded people. Um and so it it, it never happened. And um so then Lauren Bovert tweets out like to any Anybody I offended, I apologize. But she never apologized directly to Ilhan Omar. Right, let's, let's, do, let's do this. And they were supposed to have like an, a, a conversation about it. I haven't heard like the actual conversation. They had a phone call, but apparently on the phone call, uh, Obert just doubled down. Double she down just doubled down and, and refused to apologize. Bobby, that's your plan? It's a plan. What's her what's her end game? Yeah, nobody really knows. I don't even think she knows. She's just there to sow chaos until the next election, basically. Um, after that whole situation, it was it was discovered that this is just a story that she tells. She's told it multiple times. She told it when 
she first became when she first joined Congress uh, last year at an event. And so it's just a story that she tells because she's been caught on video telling it multiple times. It's just a lie that she tells, basically. And it's oh only like just now being publicized. I don't. I don't understand. I really don't understand. Like, does she not live on the same planet we did? Like, does she? Is she under the impression that Trump is still in office? Yes, they all okay. are. Okay, well that makes a lot more sense. Because she is like, I don't know how I got through any of that. Because I can barely hit the game. And I'm really kind of getting beat up. Because like, she's saying all this stuff like, yeah, it's cool to be racist. Haha, <laughs> I'm so cool. How does she still have a job? Well, that is something, that's something that has been talked about. That's one of the things that, uh... Seriously? Uh... What's your... What's the, um, Katie Kerr? That Jenk, no, Jenk talks about all the time. Uh, where he's like, people in Congress aren't being held to the same, uh, standards of, like, what, what they... Um, expect of other people, basically. Because he was like, in, in the normal work world, if she had said anything like this, she'd have been sent to HR, she'd be fired, you know? But nothing has happened to her. Yeah, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. Like, how? Oh, it's only, it's only just now that people are coming out uh, wanting her to be removed from the committees that she's on in Congress. How about we use our words? How about you stop being so blatant? Oh, she's not tired yet. So there are there are three Muslims in the in Congress in the House of Representatives. And she calls them the Jihad Squad. Oh! It's almost as bad as her calling a black guy Chicken George. Yeah. How can she... So... So, over, I, I got a tweet. It says, over the Thanksgiving break, Lauren Boebert said she was recently in a Capitol elevator with Ilhan Omar when a fretful Capitol police officer ran up. Lauren Boebert said, well, she doesn't have a backpack. We should be fine. Uh, Boebert then called Ilhan Omar Jihad. Oh, here's, just, here's the video of it, I guess. Uh, I'll just play it. Give me some volume. So, uh, the other night on the house floor was not the, my first jihad squad moment. Uh, so, I was getting into an elevator with one of my staffers. And he and I are working in the Capitol back to my office. And we get in the elevator and I see a Capitol Police officer running hurriedly to the elevator. I see fret all over his face. And he's reaching. And I'm like, the door's shutting. Like, I can't, I can't open it. What's happening? I look to my left, and there she is. Johan Omar. And I said, well, if she doesn't have a backpack, we should be fine. <laughs> Give me one good reason not to end you. <laughs> so I only had one floor to go. I was like, yeah, do I say it or not? What's over? And I said, oh, look. If she was a comedian, she'd have been canceled forthwith. <laughs> um, but uh, Ilhan Omar responded and said, uh, fact, this buffoon looks down when she sees me at the Capitol. This whole story is made up. Sad she thinks bigotry can get her clout. 
anti-Muslim bigotry isn't funny and shouldn't be normalized. Congress can't be a place where hateful and dangerous Muslim tropes get no condemnation. Now what? You ain't lying. Hey, Uncle Aaron. Nah, I'm not a. Uh... I need um, I need some advice. I'm not. I'm not Muslim, so. I don't mean to make it sound like I'm. You know, I got a dog in this fight. I just know that which. Thanks, man. It's. It reminds me kind of of Elvin, no Edwin, or the new form. like he thinks him being an alcoholic and there. yada 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 is getting him uh, friends. He thinks people like him. He, th he thinks people like like him when he's drunk and whatnot, but the reality is like, no, they're not laughing with you, big dog. They're laughing at you. Mm -hmm. But I mean, in this case, those people are laughing with her. Like, those people are fully laughing with her. I just still find it very silly that, like, they're laughing at the joke, but the reality is she didn't make it. You know what I mean? I mean, technically, I guess she did write the joke. It's just not a real thing to happen. Yeah, I guess. Like the whole the whole thing is so bizarre. Like I realize, like to them, it's like, well, I don't know if they were in like a private setting, and like that's why they thought it was okay. Yeah, it was practically a a campaign event, basically for her specifically. That's pretty much consensus. Or I guess not consensus, maybe majority thought. Because there are still people who like her. She did get elected to Congress. It's just, I, I'm oh. not surprised. Like, to say the least, I'm not really surprised because, like, the amount of people who, uh, people just being racist isn't that big of a, it's, it's just not new, hey, uh, but it, it, it's, 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 the thing is, is, like, it's not new, but the thing is, like, it's, it's typically, it's been hit. Now people are, are brazen. They're more brave about it. <laughs> because like, it's just, just becoming casually okay. Yeah. Because I imagine, like, in their head, well, well, Black Lives Matter, we can't make fun of them, but we can make fun of those guys, right? It's like not the same thing. It's like, we just kind of would like for you all to stop just being awful humans if you could it does not seem like you are capable <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, it's almost like you were you're waiting for your connection broke all the way the heck up would you say he was, he was waiting for the applause. Another one bites the dust. Keep just waiting around. Hold on! Tell him Spider-Man's here! Y'all the folks who robbed Tao's place? Where's...
I am watching people butcher fresh tuna, and my life is being changed. I was watching a dude slice uh, different sizes of fruit uh, not too long ago, as in like maybe an hour ago. This is just it's beautiful. Like, and literally, they brought it into the restaurant, the whole fish, and they freaking laid down a tarp and just cut it on the floor. It doesn't feel weird at all. Okay. Spider Man went down the elevator shaft. Stick it in place. Yeah, I know. You're just running out of web fluid. I'm coming for you, Spider Man. Hang tight. I'm coming for you, Boogie Man. Spider Man, wait. Oh, man, that's. I'm still stuck on Jihad Squad. I'm really baffled. There's a bank on this block. No power means no security. Well, that's the thing she has said out loud. It's again. She got a, a she, and she got a decent um response out of it. Like she, it killed. Yeah, I mean that's like it's like let's go, Brandon. Like. People are entertained by the simplest things. Ow. Oh, Pat McAfee just about got in trouble for her. What? I still haven't watched that episode of SmackDown yet, though. Who's Sounds Pat like McAfee? Paying them. Any idea? What? Pat McAfee. So mm -hmm. I got that. Dick Bag, who's the announcer on SmackDown with Michael Cole? You can restore power if you got in trouble. On it. Um, he didn't get in trouble. Uh, People were on him on Twitter for saying, uh, "Let's go, Brandon," on on SmackDown. Who's Brandon? So you don't, you don't know this one either? If I did, I don't think I would have been asking as many questions. I mm. wouldn't be asking that many questions. <sighs> why am I supposed to know this stuff? Like, why is it that, like, I'm supposed to know it? Like, if I haven't come across it, like, clearly it's just not in my, uh, it's not in my line of sight. So, like, that's all I, that's all I got. I just don't know it. You going to hit me the game or not? So, let's go, Brandon. Is a chant that so-called brilliant conservatives have started using in place of F you Biden. Oh yeah. What's her noodle was telling me about the something like that, like a uh some pilot said it 
before he um before he took off on his uh his flight. Yeah, I know. Your, your what's her name? What did you just say? But no one knows who the fuck. They don't know. I was, I was reading. Something but, about a flight. Yeah, a, a pilot said it. Uh, before. Oh really? Oh yeah. Okay. But the problem I had, I had even then was, why did he say it? Because a part of me just because didn't it's understand. it's like a it's like an inside joke. They think that I guess the rest of the world is stupid and we don't realize now. They even said it on Fox News. But the thing is, it's not really funny though. Not that it's not it's funny. It's hilarious to them. It's hilarious to them. Okay, here's what I'm trying to get at. Okay. If <laughs> find the main generator. The reason it doesn't make sense is because if no one else gets it, you're saying it to yourself. These guys keep talking about their boss. And Dude, a lot of people want to rob Whatever. It was worth a try. But everybody gets it now. Yeah, and so now it loses it. There's the main break. Which is why it, it hasn't though. That's the thing. That's why. That's why it's ridiculous. Is that it hasn't. It's I. Oh my god. Okay. Cool. Whatever. It's. I find it silly, only because. I only find it silly because. Um. If. If we, for whatever reason, wanted to be like fuck Trump. You know what we say? <laughs> say fuck Trump. No, what's just saying? Why are you pussy ass niggas scared to just say fuck Biden? First off, we don't care, bitch. We won. Get over it. <laughs> ah, you um, big mad? Like uh, like, like six nine say? <laughs> that's that's what that was a video that I watched where um. They were talking about how somebody was upset because they claimed that they were being censored. But it's like you're not because the chant itself originally was F you Biden. And you idiots were the ones who changed it to let's go Brandon. You're the idiots that censored yourselves. <laughs> All right. I guess the rest of the, we, y'all know I'm up here. Oh yeah, I don't know I'm up here. Okay. This video is going has gone over anyway. Just say it. Like, I I find it funnier that they're they're clearly too afraid to say what they want to say. I mean, I I realized like we were talking the other day, and I kind of. I was kind of like brutally harsh about Kathy Griffin, but Kathy Griffin was legit with her shit though. She didn't like Donald Trump and she ain't had no problem saying like, I hope this fucker gets, you know, shot in the face or whatever. Like, which is how you feel. Yeah, that's how you feel. But for y'all to come up with this slick little <laughs> phrase that, you know, it's, it's so dumb. It's dumb and childish. It's so fucking stupid. It's so stupid. Yep. Oh my gosh, where am I going? You know what? We'll finish this up in the next episode. Oh my gosh. Fuck Trump, shit. We ain't got to come up with no secret codes. We don't like that motherfucker with his little hand having ass. Oh, scrunched up face. Looks like he jacked off with Icy Hot. <laughs> ah! Get out.